Hello, my little butterflies. Good evening. Good evening, my little butterflies. It is 5.37 on this uh, Sunday evening. And uh, we may add that it's a very cold Sunday evening. I'm talking... <laughs> Guys, I'm talking cold. When I say it's cold, I'm talking if you go out... You need glove. You need the whole giddy up. You need gloves, hat, and a jacket. That's a, that's when I'm talking cold. So old man Winters, uh, he's not leaving so graciously. That's for sure because um, we're supposed to be in spring. We're I don't know a week or two in the spring right now, supposedly. So the news people say, but uh, it certainly don't feel that way, and. Um, so that's that. I want to show you um, some of my copperheads, guys. These are all of my case copperheads. Um, these aren't any other copperheads that you are probably used to seeing. Um, the copperheads you are probably used to seeing are probably these guys right here. Let me see if I can open one up. This one just happens to be the Damascus Rough Rider um, Copperhead. Decent little piece. Um, anyway, but these are the Rough Riders you guys are probably used to seeing. And I love these two. I was once asked, um, which pattern do you like better? Uh, copperhead pattern do you like better? And it's a tough, to it's a toss up and a half, guys, because I, I think about it often too, and I can't come to a conclusion on which pattern I like better. We'll take a look at some of these, but these are the, um, I just wanted to show you this because these are um, your, uh, probably what a user used to seeing, okay? So. We'll, comp we'll come back to this. We'll compare that in a little bit. But let's just show you what a, um, a case copperhead looks like. We'll show you the back spring on it. Um, and I'll show you just one, basically, because they're all the same. No sense in showing you all, all of them. Uh, once you see one, you're going to see them all. Man, I really cleaned these up really good. But I'm in the middle of sharpening them, too. Putting a nice, nice edge on them. I'll show you that in another video. How I'm doing that. But. A little smudgy on there. But these are. Um, the Vault series. Uh, from last year. Um, copperheads. And. I think. I think that I have them all. Um, I'm probably missing one or, you know, I'm probably missing a few, yes. But I tried to get as many as I could get possibly known to man. I don't know if there's any other ones out there. I'm sure that there are, like I said. But for the most part, I got what I need, I think. But you got this uh, two-bladed configuration here. You got this... Long, long, nice, beautiful clip blade that they give you here. And they give you a pen blade. But the pen blade on this guy, what makes it so awesome is the pen blade is big. I mean, this pen blade is not, it's not your everyday run-of-the-mill uh, little pen blade. This pen blade is useful. It's big. It is a big, big, long uh, pen blade. And it's just, it works. I mean, it works. It looks good on the piece. I think it looks good on the knife. It complements the knife well. Um, if you are going to have a two-bladed, you know, configuration set up like this, your secondary blade, well, make it count. You know what I mean? Put a, put a nice size blade on that, and that's what they did there. They put a nice big pen blade on there. Um... But yeah, that's it. Um, whatchamacallit? They got um, 
all different uh, bone covers that you could get in uh, this run. Uh, like I said, this is from the Vault series. Uh, let's go ahead and close this one up and show you another one just for the fun of it. Just for giggles. Um, but this is my, like, second time when I first got these. See, now, also, I'm, I'm getting away from, I'm getting away from the situation at hand. Every so often, that's why they say, uh, when you're storing your knives to break them out and keep an eye on them, regardless how clean they are. Now, I am the most anal person. Let me put this down for a minute. Let me put this down. I am very anal when it comes to my cutlery. More anal than probably most people. I'm telling you, I really am. Like, I'm OCD anal. Anyway, uh, in the boxes, in the tubes, in wherever they're being stored, um, in the wrappers and all that, I keep them in the wrappers, but I store them a certain way for storage. But when... I reopened these and I took them all out of here. I'll show you one. They come in boxes like this. See, they come in boxes like this. And inside of this box is the tissue paper. And I keep them wrapped in the tissue paper as well. So every so often, well, I got to break into the box and I got to unwrap the wrapper and take them out of the wrapper and, you know how long it took me to take all these out? A long time just to take them out and clean them. But anyway, um, what you're supposed to do is every, you know, like at least every six months, and that's pushing it. Every six months, break into your collection or your boxes and take them out and do a thorough cleaning on them. Now, these had a film a light, if you looked at them, it had a film on the blades. It had a film on the bolsters. And they just didn't look right. Like, just from storage. They were taking on that, that storage wear. And that is what you do not want. Um, let me just show you. I'm just picking one here. Maybe the black will show up good. But when I took this out. Now, this is the black, this is a, a, the black synthetic, right? Just regular black synthetic. When I took this piece out of the carton and the paper, well, it had a real a, 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 a nasty film uh, on the bolster here. If you wiped it, you were like, what is that? You know what I mean? And I know before storage, I had them clean. But you have to take... <clears throat> I, you can take anything that you like. I got this EDCI uh, formula cleaner here that works fantastic. I mean, you could really use whatever, whatever you want as long as you're cleaning it. Basically, that's the idea. You know, you're wiping them down. You're cleaning them. And... It, that's what you're going for. But anyway, um, I'm trying to work around the camera best I can. But now you can see the blade. Now, how nice this blade looks. Just with a, uh, you let the um, EDCI solution. I highly recommend this, by the way. You just wipe it. Um, let it dry for a couple seconds. You'll be able to see the haze. It comes, it, it then becomes like a haze on it and then re-wipe it off and then you're ready. You're ready for storage and then it's clean and it's all, it's all good. You know what I mean? Um, but the bottom line is if you're storing any kind of your, if you're storing your knives, guys, don't just think, well, they're clean. I put them away clean. They're okay. You cannot leave your knives go, especially, especially if they are, um, uh, 1095 or these carbon steels, you will be in for a rude awakening. 
if you don't keep an eye on them kind of steals because you got to keep up with it. I don't care if you put them away uh, with uh, light oil on them and stuff. You have to stay after them. You must stay after them. And if you don't, well, then that's 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 all going to be on you. But these are just fantastic pieces. Like I said, pe a lot of people always ask me, what pattern do you like better? Cases, copperheads, or um, or uh, or these copperheads right here. You know what I mean? These are your normal. These are like I said. These are your normal copperheads that probably everybody's used to seeing. I don't. I still have trouble thinking. I'm thinking that I like cases copper. If I real, if you really pushed me up against the wall really, really hard, um, I guess I'd have to pick uh, cases copperheads, uh, the vault series. I guess I'd have to pick them. Um, uh, you know, they just hold a special place in my heart, and um, I'm just very. I'm happy that I acquired them. Um, now you could also get, you could get these in the single blade. Uh, you could get the single blade copperheads and they did fun colors. Uh, they did them in lime green. And they, I'll show you this purple one is just, I mean, this purple one's to die for. And they did it. It's a single blade and they did it in this acid this black acid wash, which is just, guys, I tell you what, it is absolutely, to me, um, the look of this knife and the black washing and, um, but these bolsters, man, I'll tell you, take on a nasty, they're a fingerprint, what do they say, fingerprint magnet? <sighs> Excuse me, but just look at that clip blade. Have you guys ever seen, ever, ever seen a clip that was that beautiful? That dark, tumbled stone wash with uh, these fun, well, this one, this fun lime green color on it. Just an awesome color, right? Let's show you the other one um, because this is just, that's a fun, that they, I, I'm calling that a fun color. I love it. But it's just a fun color. Now you get into this purple one here. Now check this purple one out. Okay, they came in different colors. Okay. Now check this purple, that purple one out against the black, what, that black tumble stone wash blade with that clip. Have you guys ever seen a purple like that? This is one of my favorite pieces. This is one of my favorite, favorite pieces. I love, love every time I break this piece out, uh, you know, it's, it's, we all got our favorites and, uh, you know, it is what it is, but this one is just really, it's so thin, and slender. Look how slender that is. Look at those brass liners coupled in with the, uh, that black tumble stone wash. Let I can't even get any. Let me see. Look at that blade. Just look at that blade. Do you think that blade could uh, cut? Do you think it's a slicer? Tell me. Do you think that's a slicer? Do you think you could get stuff done with that knife? Just think. I mean, guys, you pick up. Oh, I've got them, but. You pick up a beautiful, supple leather sheath and toss this right in your leather sheath. Holy smokes. You're in for a beautiful... You are in for a carry of the day, boy. There's nobody touching you on that carry. Toss this right in your pocket. Do a pocket check. Have somebody pocket check you with this in your pocket. Right? Right? Just a fantastic piece. I love how they did that color and everything. How they threw in a sing couple single blades with it. But, um, yeah, I just figured uh, I was cleaning them. I had them out. This is a, look at this red one. 
chrome vanadium. This is a, a chrome vanadium piece. The jigging on this is just, you got to look at the jigging. You got to see the jigging on this piece here, how they did this. Look how beautiful. Tell me that's not beautiful with these nut, with these bolsters. Again, the blades are all the same. You're getting that clip, that beautiful, man, that gosh darn clip just... That is sexy, man. That is just, oh, uh, man, that just makes my motor, man, that makes my motor run, baby. Man, that gets me running. Oh, the traditional world, right, guys? The good old traditional life. Yep. Yeah, you, you don't choose to become a traditional knife lover, you know what I mean? It's either in your blood or not, you know what I mean? You're not going to... You don't choose this stuff, you know what I mean? I didn't choose to love traditional knives. It's just that my eye took to them, and this is just what I'm into. Everybody's got their own little thing that they're into, you know what I mean? Everybody, everybody has their own thing. But you're not gonna you're not gonna force yourself to be a traditional knife lover. You're not. Because if you're not a traditional knife lover, if you're looking or if you're peeking at this video right now, you're looking at this knife saying, What the what's so big about that? Click right off, you know what I mean? You're not interested in seeing a clip blade like this jigging. This jig but this jig does nothing for a guy that's not a traditional knife lover. That this clip blade does nothing for a person that's not into traditional knives. You, It's like you're born into, you know what I mean? You're born with it, you know what I mean? Just like you're not born, never mind, I won't go there. Um, but that's it, I just wanted to show you the jigging on some of these. They're just beautiful. Like I said, these are all from last year's vault pattern. Okay, you can't get these now. You just can't go online and get these. The the vault pattern, it's it's they do it for a year and that's it. This is probably some of the prettiest jigging in the whole bunch. This green. Uh let's see if I could get a good with the lighting. This green jig is probably, I think, the nicest jigging in the bunch right here. But it's just, look at the jig on that. Look how it's, look how it's, this lightens out the light on the ends there, how it flattens it. Oh man, dude, that's just, I don't know guys. It's, what do I say? You know what I mean? I don't know. But now what I'll do is I didn't get the time. Um, I'll give these all, these were already all done, but I'll just touch them up now uh, with the strap before I put them away. As I'm getting ready, my last, uh, before I wrap them, I'll give it a quick swipe. Swip, swip, swipe, swipe, swip, swip, swipe, swipe, swip, swip, swipe. And then she's ready to go home. She's ready to get put away. The blade I know is all crispy and sharp. It's crispy and sharp right now. You can barely touch it now. I've already done it. But I'll do it again just to bring back, just to wake that edge up, so to speak before I put it away and then I'll store them and then I'll store them or I might leave a couple out to carry I'm I think I'm going to carry a couple of these for my EDC uh for a week or two all right guys I'm not going to keep you uh too much longer I just figured you want to see some copper heads they're my favorite pattern copper heads and canoes if you want to get my you want to get me going, show me some canoe patterns and some copperheads. But basically, these copperheads are just, you know, I don't see too many people that are interested in them. I really don't. I don't see too many people that have collections of them. Nothing. Nothing. They're not out there. I, they're just not out there. I don't see a lot of people that dig them. I don't know. All right, guys, we're at a 20-minute. I'm looking at 20 minutes here. My ticker's ticking. And if you uh, stayed with me this long throughout the 20 minutes, well, I greatly appreciate that. And uh, you guys have a fantastic uh, 
evening. It's uh, just about six o'clock now here. And uh, we're gonna get ready just to settle in. And uh, like I said, tomorrow's Monday and it's back to the grind, so they say. Back to the grind. All right, guys, drop me a comment. Be good, be well, be safe. And, uh, well, hey, if you want, let me know what you think about these copperheads. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Take care now. Bye-bye.